This taco from scratch is packed with nutrients and vitamins if you are watching your diet. This is one taco that you will never say no. The fresh ingredients are just full of natural goodness. How is everybody doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. For this recipe, I use one and one half pound of trout. I somehow lean towards trout over salmon. Cut the end parts, but do not throw them away. You may use that for other recipe. And you may come up with this four nice cut of fish. This is good for four to six servings. Begin prepping your trout. Start with generous amount of olive oil. Next, season with black pepper. Then a good amount of salt. You know, you don't want it to be salty. And give your fish extra TLC. To elevate the flavor, I'm using roasted garlic and herbs. Do not be shy giving your fish a generous amount of this seasoning. This will just bring extra goodness and flavor. Don't forget to season each side of the fish. As you can see, I'm going over the top on this one. I don't know about you, but I love roasted garlic, plus the fact that it has a lot of health benefits. So going crazy with the seasoning is just perfectly fine. And look at that, this should now be ready. Warm your cast iron and add two tablespoons of coconut oil. Make sure all sides are coated with oil. Then one by one, put in your well-seasoned trout. Then we are going to cover this to speed up the cooking process. In about three to five minutes, turn it over and take the skin out, but do not throw it away. Put the skin on the side and make it crispy. We will use it for the final product. If you haven't tried crispy salmon or trout skin, I suggest you do. It is super good. You will need about 8 to 10 minutes for a perfectly cooked trout. It should remain soft. This mango is one of my favorites, especially if it's in season like this summertime. This variety is incredibly sweet and definitely delicious. Fun fact, this is low on calories and prevent diabetes. This also improves digestive and eye health. Cut them into wedges like this one. The thinner, the better for tacos. Also, I'm using English cucumber for this taco. You may cut them into wedges like the mangoes. I prefer the English cucumber because this is crispy and really good for a snack. The skinny carrots is also sweet and super crunchy. Also, fun fact, carrot is a good source of fiber. This also helps avoid constipation and this also helps maintain cholesterol level. Also, chop them into wedges like you did for mango and cucumber. Next, slice at least two lines. Also, you need a bundle of Italian parsley. And then chop or mince or dice, not much of a difference. Just mincing mince smaller pieces. There are tons of options for garnishing for pork, fish, chicken, beef. This Italian parsley has been my favorite. This is always available in my fridge. A good sized bowl to assemble your fresh ingredients would be a nice pick. Arrange nicely your mango, your cucumber, your carrots, your lime, and do not forget your Italian parsley. This is a perfect idea if you have friends coming over or a small family dinner. Of course, you always want the best for your family. No one can argue with that. And we are making our fresh taco shell from scratch. You need four spoonful of all-purpose flour. I supposed to use self-rushing flour, not realizing I do not have one in my pantry. Not available, not a problem. Here is the answer. Instant yeast. You only need one half teaspoon of instant yeast. So do not panic, improvise, and move on. You got this. The measurement is one is to one. One spoonful of all-purpose flour to one water. If it so happens that you didn't do a good job measuring your all-purpose flour, no worries, do not panic. Just add some more water. This is how easy it is to make taco shell. Without the instant yeast, all you need is salt pressing flour and water, and that's it. Go ahead and enjoy making your dough. Hey, don't forget to smile while making your dough, you know? talk, chat, play music, dance a little bit, just enjoy the process. And before you know it, your dough is almost ready. And just continue making your dough on the board. Form your dough in a round shape like this one and just give it some more TLC, top, top, top. 
and I'm literally using a knife to cut the dough. Don't do that. Use a scraper, please. Use a nice rolling pin to flatten the dough. And you may continue doing that until you achieve your desired thickness. Suggested thickness is about two quarters of a dollar on top of the other. The circumference of this bowl is five inch. And for reference, it is just me. I just want my taco shell to be perfectly round. Not necessarily that you have to do this part. But if you do so, do not throw away the edges. Mix them with the remaining dough. Your taco shell should come out nice as this one. Would you agree? I also made two, not so perfectly round shape. For toasting, I'm using a cast iron. However, if you do not have one, you may just use a regular pan. And you will notice your taco shell will begin popping up. And you may begin assembling your taco. You may start with your fresh ingredients, mango, carrots, cucumber, and then add your fish, crush the fish skin, lay some over it and sprinkle some. A generous amount would be good. Then shower it good with parsley, some roasted seaweeds, also some furikake, and squeeze a generous amount of lime. For me, this is better than lemon. And do not be shy adding some more mango if you need to. You know, you know what you want, just do it. And I couldn't wait trying this thing right here. Look at those hands. Oops, yet, yeah. mm -mm. not yet. Put that down, put it down, put it down. You are grown up. You can write. Mm -hmm. You can write. Good. And look at this beauty right here. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Will it also be delicious? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, it is delicious. Oh, ready na po. Liki na. Kain tayo. Sarap. Good. Fresh. All the fresh ingredients. The fish and the crunchiness. Super good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs>